welcome back to my channel Shar of Heart. I'm going to attempt to make a straight bookmark. Apparently in all this stuff I lost my ruler. Which means I need to reorganize. I organize it. I figure out where it is. I'm just gonna try to cut this straight, people. Wing it. too much damage. That's not bad. Alright. So, it's already pretty thick so I don't have to thicken it up. I wish I could make the ruler, but I lost the ruler. So, just going to do a bookmark. And then that'll be the last of this uh, um, stationary set. Stationary set. I also decided since these are perfectly good hearts, I'm going to use them down here. Put them in the middle. Decorate it. In this video, I decided to try to make my first uh, bookmark. I haven't tried to make a bookmark before. I'm seeing so many people do it. It looks fun. I'm gluing on the decorations I already had from a different um, media so, uh, journal supply that was left over. And since it was pretty, I decided to add it to this. Um, I'm going to try to... I finished the set. This is what the last of the set. So I'm going to show it at the end of this video. What it looked like the whole set to all, all together. So I'm going to try to do another set here in another month a different theme um i hope you guys stay tuned let me know what you think about um me making my stationary sets that's pretty cool looking all right i also know i'm gonna need this So I'm definitely going to make this, at least one side of this shiny. Come on, come on, hands. And then I can cut it out. What I like about this type of laminate is it's got the grid on the back, so you can do a quick measurement really easy. A little clumsy because it's a whole roll and it's slippery. Put this back where I had it. Shiny piece. Okay. Sort of miscalculated, but that's fine. I could just cut around it.
All right, let's get some designs on here. This is the first time with me making uh, bookmarks, and I made a stationery set before, but I didn't include a memo pad or a swatch pad and bookmark. I just did the stickers, washi tape, and a pen decoration. Um, also, when I did this video, I was like late at night. I was really tired, so even though I didn't have to do measurements, I still messed up. I'll cut back, save some camera space when I'm done. All right, I'm back. I got the letters traced out. I knew it would take a little bit of time, and I didn't want to lose too much time on the camera. So, I believe I'm gonna use the same four colors. What I'm going to do to make the green is put the yellow and blue together for this word only, growth. Never give up. Every failure is a chance for growth. Put my usual blob of leaves on here. I did manage to finish this set of stationery in one month, but I forgot to post this last video. I thought I had maybe put it on a timer but I found that it was ready to be edited but it had not been edited I enjoyed making this washi tape um, I mean this journal set more than my roses one because I also included people with the washi tape and stickers and not just um, objects and uh, flowers and stuff I should call this a four marker challenge and I might line this so that you can see the patterns better and it will coherent with the stars. I mean stars, oi, hearts. Yeah. I didn't want to go to bed without finishing this. This is the last day of the month. I said I would get this done before the last day of the month. I'm doing it. It's still not 12 o'clock yet. Not where I am. Since this is covered up with words, I've got to put them in between. One more. I feel like I was getting some on me, but I don't see it. And purple. Come on, you, you gotta do it before the camera cuts out. I think I'm what I'm gonna go back and do is to um, put in the description four color washi, uh, four color diary or journal set challenge. I haven't really seen a four color diary or journal set challenge, and then uh, I will do another four Probably color challenge another time. But the next one's not going to be just four colors. It's going to be a full theme with all kinds of colors. Start tracing at least so you can see um, them. Start I'll also trace. Normal, number these like one, two, three on down until I finish the whole set. That way you can see this whole set being put together and the order that it was put together. This is about where I start to get tired and not just mentally but my body is starting to hurt so I start rushing things and you're gonna see me start messing up camera's not the only one that's getting tired of running my body is saying you have been up too long and it's getting painful but I'm, this is the last straw the last the last loop run track brain's not working Last lap, that's what it is. Almost passing the finish line. This is the first time I've done um, a full stationer with a memo or a pad, swatching pad, and a uh, bookmark. The other ones I just did washi tape, 
stickers and a pin decoration and there are rows uh, you can find it in my art list art playlist then a rose set from for someone that liked flower stickers and stuff it takes me a long time because of because of the uh, pain and spasms and sitting for too long or standing too long sometimes even laying too long causes sharper pain if I have to shift ah, I messed up that's all right I'll just do it that way and uh, I lose focus like you just saw. And after a while, my muscles just start stiffening up. I'll end that one with a blue. So it takes me a lot longer to do my little stationary sets than it does most people. I've been at this 30 minutes, maybe almost an hour without a break because I gotta get this done. And being tired of losing focus. <laughs> Alright. Being tired and in pain, I'm losing focus. But after I color this, then I can go relax, edit this while I'm laying in a comfortable reclined position, and let my muscles hopefully relax and stop spasming. It's in the right spot. Okay, good. Yeah, you can see it on the camera. And then after this um, stationary set, I'm going to finish up the gaming cinema part of my channel. Finish the dungeon. So you can see what happens to the rock people and the supposed princess Zelda, which we all know, even though the characters in the story don't know, that that's not Zelda. Or if it is, let's say the present Zelda, she's a perfect again. It's easy to see that when you watch the videos. Many people have videos. Let's see. Yellow at the end and purple. I also try to put like little finds, special discoveries in the video that aren't really mentioned a lot. Since I'm gonna make this green, put blue and yellow, I'm gonna do that last. Okay, yellow on the end. Purple in the middle. See, this marker is acting different than it was on the paper. It's smoother feeling. And it's probably because it's not tearing up the paper by wetting it. Since it's like cardstock paper, this is watercolor paper. I got it from Hobby Lobby. 
I don't know if it was on sale at the time. I just grabbed it because it was the first time I'd seen watercolor paper or paid attention to the fact that watercolor paper was different from mixed media paper. <sighs> By this company, it doesn't say the pounds. Oh yeah, it does. 140 pounds. 207 GSM. HP neutral, acid free. Alright, I'm gonna cut for a little bit so I can save room for you to see me get the shiny on. Alright, I got it colored. Oh, I almost forgot it's supposed to be green. I put pink here because there are some plants that have like pink or reddish leaves since I had this green or off green. With the blue and the yellow overlapping. I'm in a rush because my body is aching <laughs> and the camera is almost full. Even she looks like she's had enough of the day. <laughs> Not cooking. That's interesting. All right, smooth stuff. Most of the time, this is pretty easy to peel. You peel one side of it and then kind of smooth it out upwards or downwards so as not to have it. Um, wrinkle and put it as close as I can to the middle. I hope I aimed this right. Nope. Nope, I didn't. gonna have to do some of the edges cut off the edges so that's fine did really bad <laughs> that's what happens when you do stuff at night so I guess what I'll do is fold this over put some on this side I'll be right back. You can see here that I'm so tired that I didn't even line it up. It's all lopsided. And then I try to fix it by putting another layer of shiny on it so it stopped being just one side shiny. And uh, I messed that up too. But because it's already on something shiny, it was easy to re peel it off and replace it. So I learned, you know, don't do stuff late at night. <laughs> try to get your projects done earlier. Fixing my blender on camera. Now it's mostly laminated. Um, I cut that off. It should be even more sturdy. The front's pretty good. Pretty good done. Cut off some of this top part. Or some of the bookmark. Yeah. Got 
smooth. I don't think I'm going to try this night project stuff again. Until you get to a point where you just like your body, your body's like, just get it over with. And you're like trying to fly into bed when you have certain types of disability, fibromyalgia, and spine issues are not a joke. You have a constant dull ache, and when you do like I'm doing, so you've been up all day, it starts turning to sharp aches, sharp pains, sticking and spasms. Okay, so I got that done. I got this done. Let's swatch it watch stuff whenever I do my different projects Let's see if I can get all in the picture wash your tape Here's that one. Ah. Iridescent washer tape, hard sticker, it leans close together as possible. Let that pencil go. Pencil, where are you? I'm too tired to see you. Oh. Here we go. Put that, put that there. Iridescent sticker. I'm gonna have to set you up. And I guess I'll just do that. Here we go. That's all together. Washi tape, my swatching pad, decorated pencil, some stickers I still have to get separate that have the same colors as the rest of the stationery bookmark, a random heart sticker, uh, iridescent washi tape, blobular pattern washi tape, comet sticker, iridescent comet sticker, heart comet sticker. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for other projects. Bye bye. <laughs>